So, boy, army, welcome to another spicy one on the channel. Today's video, we are looking at the best value players between 1 to 2 million coins. I'm going to be honest, a lot of these players might not be quite the same insane value that you've been seeing in some of the other videos, but that's just when we get to 1 to 2 million coins, that is very expensive. And there's not as great a depth of choice in this video. Simply put, once you get to this price, there's not as many players as maybe 100 to 250k. It's just how FIFA works. But I've picked out lots of players that I think are very good, better, and suit the game. So let's get into it. To start off with, we've got some players that I don't actually think are great value, but I'm just giving you a few more options at this price range that you can look at. Hazard. This Hazard with a Hunter gets near 99 uh, finishing. He has 99 pace. He's great at the ball, great passing, okay physical, four-star, four-star. Great links. Real Madrid are most likely going to go be Atlanta at home, you'd imagine. So he's quite likely to get a plus one to get to the 92 as well. And obviously at 1.1 million for this Hazard, he's got some room to grow as well. I think that he could go up in price if Real Madrid go far. Desai's prime icon. He's coming under the banner in this video. of I'm, I'll tell you when we get to the ones that I start to think of better value. But he's one of the best setbacks in the game. Probably the best icon centre back. I would go for his baby in terms of pure value, but this prime is an absolute monster. Moments Bergkamp. It's one of these where you look at him and you're like, he doesn't look absolutely insane compared to some of the other meta cards, but he's very well-rounded. Four-star, four-star. He's got the shooting traits with a hunter. You might want to go engine to up his um, dribbling a bit, but with a hunter, you're getting really good pace, elite shooting, Solid dribble anyway. That 99 ball control, 98 composure is pretty nice, to be honest. Uh, great physical, great passing. This Bergkamp's a fun card to use. Butragueno, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 at the moment. If he had four-star skills, this card would cost a lot more. So you're paying cheaper for him because of the skills. A Hawk is near perfect on this guy. Gets him near 99 pace. It's 99 excel, 98 sprint speed. 99 finish, 97 shot part. Puts his physicals into a decent area. Considering his height and balance, he will actually be pretty hard to knock off the ball, which obviously is something we want. And Butragredo has the finesse shot trait. He plays pretty well in general. Um, maybe a bit cheaper than he should be just because of the four-star skills missing. But on FIFA, that is a bit of an issue this year. Team of the year, Van Dyke. He's one of the ones that I'm putting under not the best value, but... Partly just because I think that I prefer fullbacks a lot of the time this year. And I didn't love Van Dijk. Mostly because I play quite an aggressive high up the pitch pressing style. But for me, if you sit a bit deeper, then this Van Dijk will be the best centre-back in the game. Still very good pace. Uh, elite passing, 99-99. Best defender in the game with moments Maldini. Insane physical. Weak foot's not bad for a centre-back, 6-4. Honestly, when I used him, I got like 10 or 15 goals in a weekend just from corners with him. Like, he's pretty broken when it comes to the corners. But two mil. Personally, I would rather buy some of the fullbacks like Reese James. Bruno Fernandes. Again, a card I'm putting under the not best value. But like I say, we're going to get, after this card, we're getting to the ones that I think are starting to get decent value. Bruno, for me, he's the same price as Team of the Year De Bruyne, you'll see later in this video, which is stupid. I don't think Man U have had their plus four streak yet. So Bruno will probably get that at some point. Although Man U did just draw Chelsea, so they need to win another four in a row. Um, if we get winter refresh, which we normally get by now, then Bruno will get a plus one. But I'm not sure we're going to get it now, considering it's March and is it springtime already now, probably. I'm not sure, but this Bruno is good, but a bit overpriced. Now to the better value ones. This mid down leash is not as good on paper, stats-wise, as Butra. <clears throat> he's not a mile off the prime Butra, but he has four star skills and is like 400k cheaper. So for me, this style Glish, pretty good value. I wish he had the finesse shot trait, but he's a very good card on FIFA and suits the game. That five star weak foot's always going to be really nice. Prime Kaka. Didn't suit FIFA as much last year, but this year with the five star skills, good weak foot, well rounded stats. And balance not being quite as important. This Kaka really does shine this year. A Brazilian central icon with these stats for 1.2 million. Finesse shot. For me, it's a pretty good priced card at this point. And Kaka's obviously a pretty popular player that's nice to use. Ben Yedder. He's already got his streak. Ben Yedder's the type of guy who would expect to get at least one more in form this year. 
four star skills, five star weak foot. The only thing really that stops him being elite, elite is his physical. He's got great passing. Some of the best dribbling in the game for a top tier striker with five star weak foot. Elite shooting. And with a hunter, you're getting near 99 pace. So this Ben Yudeta also has great chemistry links for me. Isn't bad value, just over 1 million coins. Carlos Alberto. On other FIFAs, I probably wouldn't have put someone like this on the list. But right now, him and then his moments centre-back, uh, moments right-back, are probably the two best centre-backs in the game. That's how good Alberto is on this game. Oh, at the very least, he's up there. On this game, you could play him at 7 chem as well, so you get a central or centre-back Brazilian icon link. Um, icons, obviously, you're going to have to pay a bit more for them. So you do have to bear in mind with that. But for me, I do really like this Alberto. He's just a bit expensive for me to put centre-back, but he's up there for the best of the game. Rashford. One thing you might notice in this video is there's no informed Neymar. The reason there's no informed Neymar is that informed Neymar, you could get his non-informed 91 instead of his 92 for 500k. So the difference, an extra million for the 92, I'm not willing to pay that personally. Rashford. His cards tend to go uh, quite be, be quite expensive in general, and this is the best one. This Rashford with a Hawk is absolutely crazy. Insane physicals, great dribbling. He's got five-star tricks, four-star weak foot. He just plays really well in this game as well. Rashford has great links. Um, if you can fit him into your team, he's an absolute animal. Prime Torres. Maybe if he wasn't Fernando Torres, he'd be slightly cheaper, but I still think it's a great card. Doesn't really have a major weakness. Everything on his card's pretty good. The four star, four star's nice. Both the shooting traits. Like I say, you're probably paying a slight premium for Torres, but it's a fantastic card that I definitely think's worth using. Moments Nedved. For me, he'll be up there as the best wing back in the game if you stick a hunter on him. Um, he'll be a great centre mid. He could play up front. With a hunter, you're getting near 99 on every shooting stat. 98 pace. He can dribble. He can pass. He's good physically. He's good defended. I just think he seems to be a bit underpriced for how good he is. I think if he was a central icon, he could be like six, 700k more. Um, but he's that good, you could probably put him as a central icon and play him on 7 camp. This Nedved just excels in every area, and players who tend to be well-rounded on FIFA tend to be very good. Team of the Year Davies. I still use him in my team. I don't know why I've put the concept one instead of my one, but Team of the Year Davies could play striker, could play left-back, could play centre-back, could play midfield. He can play literally anywhere except for keeper and i'm sure he'd, he'd be doing a job there as well he's amazing he doesn't have any traits but it doesn't really matter on this card four star four star good height he's just great across the board his only stats on his card below 90 are passing and shooting the passing's only below 90 because of the free kick accuracy and um, the shooting you can get him to 98 finishing with a, a finisher or a gladiator anyway He's just an outrageous card with some of the best stats of the game. He's already got 99 on acceleration, sprint speed, short pass, agility, and dribbling, which are all pretty key stats. I play him at centre mid in the 5 3 2, but if you get him, you can fit him anywhere. He'd be one of the best strikers in the game with a plus 15 finishing on, and that's for 1.5 mil. And he's not that hard to link in because Bayern Munich have so many great players. Kimmich, one of those players you can link him to. 1.5 mil for this guy, in my opinion. Pretty good value. He is cheaper. Than the what if Kante. He's got a better weak foot than the what if Kante. He's quicker. He's more well more rounded. I don't get why that Kante is more expensive than this Kimmich. Even when Kante gets the plus two, which he'll have got off. Oh no, no, it's, he's a midfield, so he won't have got it for the clean sheet actually against United. This Kimmich is still better. So for me, this Kimmich is great value. De Bruyne, up there for best value player of the game right now. An insanely good midfielder. I used him for a couple of weekends and absolutely loved him. The five-star weak foot's massive. Four-star skill's still nice. Best passer in the game. Great dribbling. Great physically. Clinical. It's a shame he's not like a 97-98 with a couple more pace to get him to near 99 with a chem style. But he's still outrageous and I'm surprised he's this cheap already. Mineto. Got the finesse shot. Four-star, four-star. Again, a bit like Torres. You're probably playing slightly more because it's Samuletto. But he's still a fantastic card. I used him and really liked him. His finesse shot's one of the best shots I've seen all year, to be honest. Get a hawk on him, and he's got 96 pace, 98 finishing, 99 shot power, long shots. He can already dribble. He's good physically. He's just a fantastic all round card. Moments Balak, one of the best box to box midfielders on the game right now. 
Four star, four star. Doesn't need the shooting traits because he's going to be shooting a lot. Um, I would probably put a shadow on him. As like the middle anchor man in a team, I think he'd be a bit of an animal, to be honest. He doesn't really lack in any particular area. Just an incredible card that just suits the game. Team Nier Lewandowski. How on earth has he dropped below 2 million coins already? We're talking 1.8 million coins for a guy who is just across the board insane. I would be putting an engine on him. It gets him to 96 pace. Crazy. Like he's got, he'll have 99 dribbling balance. 89 agility still great. Elite strength. He's got the shooting traits. Four star, four stars great. Amazing links. If you are running a team that's Bundesliga and you can stretch to him or just fit him in with uh, players, he's unreal value. Put it into perspective, <clears throat> CR7 and Mbappe are like 5 to 7 mil. You might think they're better than him, but they're definitely not worth tripling. Freeze Mane, his 93 is slightly cheaper if you can fit it in, which is basically just a bit like a plus one on most of these. But this is a central card, so it's going to be a lot easier to fit in. With a Hawk, he's near end game. He's got 99 finishing shot power pace, elite dribbling, great physical. This card's crazy. For when he came out as well, like he was absolutely insane. He still is. He's near end game with a chem style anyway. And Sufati, um, he was a ripoff when he came out. Like we're talking like 5 mil. He's dropped to like 1.8 now on Xbox. Um, with like a marksman, you get a near max dribbling, shooting, great physical. A card that's 5, 10, 4 star, 4 star with that pace. He's very well rounded. And I guess that's one thing I keep saying at this point. They're very well rounded. But it's because at this point, to be a good value card at 1 to 2 million, you do have to be. Then the last one we're putting in is Moments Figo. Up there for best right winger in the game right now. I'd probably honestly rather use the Messi on this game, the team here, Messi. Um, with a Hawk, he's getting near 99 pace. He's got insane dribbling. The balance isn't a big deal this year. He'll be 98 shot power, 99 long shots, 96 finishing. Great physical, out wide in like a 4 2 3 1 or 4 4 2. He'll be insane. I used the 90 and the 92 Figo and really liked him, so I can only imagine how much better this one is. Here we go, boys. That is the set of players I've used. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Lots of great players. Like I say, I've missed some out, but that's because I didn't think there was necessarily the best value. Appreciate you guys as always. Let me know if there's any of these players you've liked, any players that you think that yeah, you disagree that they're on here, or any players that you think really should have been on here. Appreciate you guys' support as always. Keep it spicy.